has been given all these things, which is not true. Um, let me also say, he is now becoming a repeat offender in terms, in terms of putting baseless allegation against the Prime Minister. We saw that prior to 2019 election, now he is doing it again, he doesn't seem to learn any you know, lessons from all these false allegations that he wants to level against the Prime Minister. But I'm asking you, you, you think this is happening, we've given undue favours. It was the Congress government, ma'am, I don't know if you're from Kerala, but I would like to tell you. It was the Congress government which gave, on a platter, the Belgium Post to Adani. It was not given on the basis of any tender. He, now it is not his government, it is CPM government. Today. But what stopped him from asking and demanding that Kerala cancel that order? Equally, in Rajasthan, the entire solar power project has been given to Adani. What stops Rahul Gandhi? Like the way, I think in 2013, when Prime Minister Manmohan Singh was outside the country, in a press conference, he came and tore the ordinance, which Prime Minister Manmohan Singh came up with to amend that law in which if two years or more conviction happens for a person, he should not be disqualified immediately. That ordinance was brought by Manmohan Singh. He called it nonsense and he threw it in the dustbin. Like that, why doesn't he tear off the Rajasthan agreement with Adani saying no, no solar power here, Just go away. You're They say no. So we don't want Modi Adani bye bye in Rajasthan. Cancel that order. Why is he not saying that? And why is he not saying in Chhattisgarh the kind of projects which are being given away there? If any crony capitalism is happening, it is happening in Congress led governments, and Rahul Gandhi will not speak a word about it. And he keeps throwing allegations against the Prime Minister and challenging him to go and cancel all these orders which were given by his own government. Baseless allegation for Dalgo, then ek sau bar usko repeat karo aur Bhagawan se ye prathana karo kahi wo chip jaye aur mujhe benefit mele. Bhaiya, sorry. 2019 mein Rafael ke allegation mein aap jab aise bayan dete Prime Minister ke khilaf आप जाकर के सुप्रीम कोर्ट में माफी मांगना पड़ा और उससे पहले आरएसएस के खिलाफ जब गलत बयान दिया कि आरएसएस किल्ड महात्मा गांधी रिटर्न अपॉलोजी देना पड़ा राहुल गांधी को और आज बोल रहे हैं मैं गांधी हूं सावरकर नहीं डस ही रिमेंबर द टू अपॉलोजी सी गेव अर्लियर There are 13, 18 times resolutions which are passed in BJP's national executives relating only to Karnataka and Karnataka's well-being. So the BJP attachment and also concern for Karnataka is not just now because we have an election, we have to win an election and therefore no, there is a checkered history of how Karnataka has played a role in evolving BJP and BJP in turn attending to needs of Karnataka. I will never forget that resolution which was passed in probably 2006 highlighting how northern Karnataka districts were reeling under problem. Agricultural uh, workers had come to a standstill. Farmers suicide was the highest at that time. BJP kept saying, oh, UPA government, please give attention to Karnataka. No, they were just indifferent. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.